Do you play it safe when fishing with soft plastics and lures? When you find something that works, do you just stick with it? In today's episode, I'm going to highlight the importance of experimenting and building confidence with a range of different lures and soft plastics, starting with some trusty favorites and then getting into full experimental mode, fishing at one of my favorite destinations. really finesse stuff today so I've got one dedicated soft plastics rod which I'm going to be flicking just very lightly weighted grubs and I've got one dedicated hard body rod the last time we were here we caught so many brim fishing the shallow so a lot of shallow flats around here for quite a long time so we're only fishing in a meter deep at the moment haven't put a rod out just yet this is when the excitement is really really high after a five and a half hour drive got everything packed all the gear ready all the preparation brings you to this point now it's time to catch a few fish. Yep, got one. Yep. We are on. So here we go guys, we have the first fish of the trip. And it feels, yeah, it feels decent too, man. Like real heavy. This is a big brim, so we're gonna get the net ready. Ooh. Yeah, it's a big one, man. Oh. What a cracking start. We have literally been here five minutes. That was probably about my seventh or eighth cast, just working a two and a half inch grub very, very slowly. Well, that's the first fish that we have got today, and that is an absolutely amazing fish. Have a look at that. The tail has been absolutely chomped here. So there are some big predatory fish in here. And as you can see, he has taken that two and a half inch grub. So that is a magnificent species. So that's the first rod also on my brand new Samurai, the two to six pound rod. And that is a magnificent Bem River brim. That is a healthy species other than a bit of a chewed up tail. That is a cracking fish to costly. kick. That's a cracking fish to kick off the troop. So we'll get the brag mat out, we'll measure this guy, and we'll definitely let him go. There he goes. And away he goes. What a way to start a trip. All that effort, all that driving up, you get here, and within five minutes you land an absolutely magnificent fish. That's why East Gippsland is so treasured by so many anglers, because there are so many good fish here. Bem River where we're fishing, you've got Lake Ties, you've got Marlow, you've got Nicholson River. Oh, we've got another one. <laughs> Look at that. It's only a small one, this guy. He's only a little guy, but he's absolutely scoffed at that. So there you go there. That's brim number two, and he's about half the size of the other one. But as I said, guys, you've got Gippsland Lakes, Holland's Landing, Malakuda. There are just so many wonderful places to go fishing here. And uh, that's because there is just nothing but quality fish everywhere. That's two in about eight casts. So, actually that was very next cast. Oh, good fish. Not bad. First fish. That's one one of us. Yeah, he's got a good one too. Oh, that's a good fish, mate. Yeah. I'm gonna go on the other side of you, matey, so I can get a better view of you. Easy. It's a big floody. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a good fish, man. Don't lose it, man. It did. Oh. <laughs> That's a cracker. Oh, That's a cracker. The big show. The big show. <laughs> it's doing fire up now. I'm just going to reverse because I want to come right up to you. 
Oh, I got him, got him. Ah! Oh! Yep. Oh, look at him go, man. Oh, this is insane. It's... Here we go. This is what we've been wanting to catch, guys. So these things just go crazy. I saw one leap out of the air. Look at that reel. It is just peeling line like no tomorrow. These are a big, powerful fish. And uh, obviously, they're not our target species, but you know, they're just so much fun to catch. So, and I gotta position myself here because oh, they're really powerful. You just gotta turn their heads and then bring them up. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Woo. Yeah, it's huge. All right, so there we go. I'm wrapped about that. That is a really cool catch. I saw fish jumping out of the water, but look at that. That is a big, big tailor. That is a really, really awesome. Very, very powerful runs. Now, as we've said, you gotta watch the chompers on these fish. They got some really, really sharp set of teeth, but I tell you what, very, very powerful fish. Like the run on that was crazy. What was really cool was we actually saw fish jumping out of the water. So these are obviously an apex predator in these sort of waters. And whether they're chasing bait fish, whether they're rounding up other species like brim, they're very, very aggressive. And obviously that causes a lot of commotion. It causes a lot of stirring up in the water. And I can guarantee you, it's one of these absolutely amazing tailor. So I'm absolutely thrilled with that. That's a good size one. Had a big tap then, so I'm just going to try again there. Oh, here we go. Got him, got him. Oh, another nice fish. Hoo hoo. Yep, this is a good fish again. Not as big as that first one. Look at him go. <laughs> That's a nice fish. There you go, and away he goes. Oh. Yep, on the crank. Oh, has it come off? Oh no. Oh. On the hard body. Oh, really? Yep. On the hard body? Yep. Whew. There's a solid fish. There's a really solid fish. Wow. He hit that really timid. This is like the first one I caught. Ah, uh, the jackal chubby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So we have just swapped over to a hard body lure. So we've had a really good start here. So that's fish number seven. And this is another really solid fish. And what's awesome about doing different styles of fishing, so obviously soft plastics, you're working very slowly, little subtle hops, letting it sort of move along with the current. With those hard body lures, you're working them a little bit faster and it means a brim have to chase them down and absolutely smack them when they take them. So, so there you go there. So definitely not as big as the first one, but that is a beautiful fish. And very happy with that. And I love it when you catch them on hard body lures and cranks and things like that, just because it's a different way of fishing. They hit them really, really hard. And look at that for another beautiful, healthy Bem River brim. There's beautiful colors just shining there with the sun reflection. Let's get this beautiful fish. 
in the water where he belongs. No way, guys. There we go, look at that, beautiful. First one. Nice, mate, well done. Thank you. No way, guys. See you, little fella. <laughs> Oh, did you have another hit? Yeah, he came back for it too. Oh! Nice. It's a much more aggressive way that they approach the hard bodies, isn't it? Oh, whoa, he took it right at the yak. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Oh, that was so weird. <laughs> wow. I was just burning it back in. Oh, I still had about four then. Oh, look at that. Just burned it back in. You gotta love these brim, they're so aggressive. So there's another one, but now we're getting a lot of brim on these shallow diving hard body lures. So that's just a jackal chubby. Gone for natural colors there. So you've got the black top and the silver body there. So that looks really, really good because basically that mimics a lot of the natural bait fish in here. And you've got everything in here. So you can see bait swimming around everywhere. And the action you get on these lures are absolutely fantastic. And we are fishing at the moment in 1.9 meters deep. And these get down to about one meter. So that is a brilliant combination. Something that mimics the bait, something that's got really good action and something that gets you down to a really nice depth. And the good thing about these hard body lures, if you're new to this style of fishing, is you don't really need to do anything fancy. All the action is built into the lure. So, oh, Travis was on again. So, that looks a bit better too. Nice, mate, on the troll with a double clutch. Now there's a smart move. Well done, mate. Another one. Beautiful. God, they're, a, God, they're a beautiful fish. The colors on them, eh? Oh, yeah. And they um, they punch well above their weight, the old brim, so yeah. Yep, on the troll. Beautiful, mate. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> that was one of the best releases I've ever seen. One of the beautiful things about these areas, just how comfortable it is for fishing. Now, obviously you can get some swell out here when it's really, really windy. Today we've got about 15K winds and it's been really, really comfortable out here. And obviously we fish out in the bay a lot. So, you know, you're used to that swell and tidal movement, but here it's just been really, really comfortable. And the other thing that's really awesome is that once you start getting a few fish on board, you can get into full experimental mode. So. Now that we've got a couple on the grubs, a couple on the shallow diving hard body lures, we're gonna pull out all sorts of things now. So I've just changed over to a paddle tail soft plastic. I've got a surface lure that's rigged and ready to go. So obviously there's not a lot of visible structure in a system like this. So obviously, you know, we do a lot of brim fishing where you're using things like cranker crabs, muscle vibes. That's not to say they won't work here, but those lures tend to work really, really well when there's a little bit of structure to cast that. So Mark's got a nice little brim there. So again, we're just gonna try this. The other lure that I've got that I've been using quite a bit lately is that Shimano BT Bantam bait. Um, now they're a bit of a bigger profile for, you know, typically when you're targeting brim, but they work really, really well. I've caught some estuary perch, I've caught some bass on them, and they're very, very slow sinking, and they're a jointed lure as well, which means you get this really, really cool swimming action. So I'll definitely be ripping that out a little bit later as well. And um, I think there's just a great sense of pride when you can come out here and you can catch a heap of the same species, but in a different way. So you go, all right, cool. We've ticked off the grubs. We've ticked off the paddle tails. We've ticked off cranks, ticked off shallow diving hard body lures. Maybe we've caught one on a crab, maybe on a yabby imitation. And then, you know, you mix it up with a whole heap of other things. Definitely surface. So surface we haven't done yet. So that's going to be the next thing. We've actually got some really shallow weed beds to our right. And I think that's when we're going to pull out the surface lures. And once we're under a meter deep, they're going to work exceptionally well. You know, they're going to come up a meter, smash them off a surface and then take off. So those hits are generally really, really, really hard, but also a lot of fun. They're very, very memorable. So, and again, that's why it's really good just to mix all this up, you know, have some fun with it. So if you come out here, you've caught a couple of fish, just mix it up and enjoy your time. It's a great way to get some experience. It's a great way to get some confidence. And as you've seen, there are multiple species out here, not just brim. So you might get really cool bycatch of a tailor, uh, a flathead, or something along those lines. And uh, there is nothing wrong with that, that's for sure. 
All right, so we're just going to flick across now to one of these Shimano BT Bantam baits. I think that's 80 mils, obviously jointed. Gets really good swimming action and very, very slow sinking, that one. See if we can pick up a broom or two on that or even a tailor. They'd love those. Oh, oh. Yeah. It's on that big BT Bantam bait. It's a big lure. Just smacked it. That's a nice brim. Mid 30s. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. Ooh, that's a good catch. All right, so that's cool. And what I like about this is once you've got a few fish on board, you start to get into full experimental mode. So that's one of the new Shimano BT Bantam baits. It's like a little swim bait. It's uh, jointed and it sinks very, very slowly, but it's got that really awesome tail action. I was working that incredibly slowly, and uh, there you go, he's absolutely smacked that. So, grab a plizer. You always got to be super careful with the trebles of all these lures. So, get that out, put that away there, just so we don't tangle up with the net. There you go, there's another beautiful brim. So, we'll get him on his way. And uh, there's another one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> There's a low 30s, this one. <sighs> nice fish, though. And we'll get this beautiful fish on his way. See you, matey. Yeah, but there's there's lots of splashes around here, mate. So we're sort of trying to see if there's something here. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this, look at this. Yeah, there's heaps of them. Mate, there's a whole patch of them there, and they're big. I don't know. Maybe Taylor again. There's heaps of them there. Oh, it was brim, but there was hundred, mate. There was hundreds of them. What? What'd you get, dude? Oh, what'd you get it on? The the chuckle, the The chubble. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll get it. Well, I'll get well, I gotta see you holding a big fish, man. So I'm gonna have to come to you. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Yeah, there you go, there you go. That's that's the little brim. And the 12. Come on, take it. Yep. Yep. Not doesn't feel huge. It's 13. It's a wonderful part of the world. If you love your fishing, then you'd really want to get up here, especially if you love your estuary fishing where you know you've got a real fascination for targeting big brim and big flathead and tailor and all sorts of stuff, Trevally. 
we've had an absolute ball up here and you know we've only brought a couple of rods each we're just using the light stuff one or three kilo rods two to four kilo rods you know you have 1000 2000 size reels and light line but it doesn't matter about the size of the fish you know we're catching some really really good fish on gear this size but we're not targeting monsters we're targeting you know really healthy size fish in some beautiful breathtaking scenery and um, no doubt we'll be back here again soon can't recommend it enough if you haven't gone up to east gippsland to do a fishing trip and you're a keen angler definitely get up here spend a few days you could spend six months up here with all those different systems i mentioned as i'm pretty keen to get back home and spend some time with the family but um yeah i really hope that you've enjoyed the content and uh, i look forward to seeing you on our next episode take care everyone If you enjoyed the episode, then become a Fishing Mad member. It's easy to join by visiting www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash member and gain access to an online portal that's full of helpful fishing content, including detailed workshops, fishing reports, rigging tutorials, podcasts, giveaways, competitions, maps, gear reviews, sounder training, exclusive videos, and much more. It's a great platform and helps to support everything we do at Fishing mad so become a member today oh here we go got him got him the brim king is back oh another nice fish Woo -hoo.